today I'm back with two new styling products and this time it's by Texture ID. So let's just go ahead and get right into this. Now you guys, I bought one product online at Sally's and the other ones I got in store at the Sally's Beauty Store um, while I got my hat, my mask on and everything. Wheels. So now the first product is a leave-in conditioner almost. This is called a Daily Moisturizing Cream made with sweet almond oil, honey, and yogurt extract. And I do like for all of the Texture ID bottles, they have a little uh, coily hair types and clearly the last one, four, is labeled for this particular product. Now this is 8.45 ounces. It has this great little bottle here. Let's go ahead and pump some out. I've already been using this, you guys, for the back of my hair, so we're gonna have to try to really get that out. Look at how creamy this is. Oh, y'all, it's very, you know what this reminds me of? I hate to do comparisons, but Jane Carter Solution had this product called the Smoother Styler. I cannot find it at all. It was in a pump. The consistency is very much like that product. Um, this is like yogurt, very creamy yogurt. Has a nice, a nice pleasant smell to it, okay? And next up we have the Twist Butter. Again, eight ounces, also made with sweet almond oil, honey, and yogurt extract. It says seals in moisture and conditions dry hair and scalp. Okay, let's open this up. Very thick, very, very creamy. It's almost as if, I'm gonna be honest, it's almost as if this right here is a thicker version of this. So we're gonna go ahead and do a braid up, you guys. I'm gonna slightly or lightly mist my hair with water, apply the daily moisturizing cream, apply the twisting butter, seal it in with sweet almond oil, okay? All right, you guys, so I am lightly misting my hair with water before before applying the leave-in conditioner, I should say the styling cream, along with the twisting butter. That right there is the styling cream. Very, very creamy, as I stated earlier. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I do have a leave-in conditioner already in my hair. It's the Giovanni leave-in conditioner, which is a very lightweight leave-in conditioner. I'm also going to be sealing my hair with sweet almond oil, as I stated earlier. And so, yeah, let's just continue. Now, y'all, I'm going to be doing braids. I am not the best at braiding hair and honestly I'm not a fan of braid outs only because it takes so long to set and even longer in my opinion to take down so anyway I'm gonna continue I'm gonna be doing fairly small braids just for that definition okay Ryan Little <laughs> Alright you guys, I am done. I allowed these to set for about two days and here I am two days later taking my scarf off. Now, disclaimer, I did check my hair the day before and it felt hella dry. So I went back in with the styling cream just a little bit towards the ends. Actually, not even towards the end, all over my hair and some almond, excuse me, yeah, sweet almond oil, hoping that that would help. But yeah, my hair feels... Honestly, I've never used products and my hair feels this way. It almost feels like I use a sulfate uh, shampoo 
I skip conditioning and I use a mousse or gel to set my hair in braids. It looks okay, but it just does not feel the greatest, you guys. It doesn't feel healthy. It feels very dry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my time, even though this footage is sped up, I'm going to take my time to take down my hair. Yeah, you can see what it looks like now. We're going to start to separate. Alright you guys, so yeah, I am done separating and now you can see the frizziness. I have no other choice at this point but to do an updo. Don't ask me what type of updo this is. I'm basically going to be taking goody stretchy bands to uh, separate my hair in little bundles and pin it up. And I'm going to be using a head scarf for added flair, I guess you could say. Um, I did go back to look at the ingredients. Um, both of these products, there is a questionable ingredient, especially in the... Uh, curling cream it does have alcohol however it's an, a fatty alcohol and typically fatty alcohols are not stripping or does not dry out your hair um but overall they do have both products actually and uh, on all honesty have questionable ingredients so yeah i'm going to continue with this updo and what i'm going to do you guys i'm going to set my hair again using a shea butter um leave-in conditioner along with the as i am grow yogurt we're going to give it another try and see how my hair turns out, okay? Honey, let me serve you a little head scarf with a pop of nail color and eye color. So yes, texture is on point. This is what the back of my hair looks like. As I stated earlier, I'm going to come back in a couple more days and show you what everything looks like, okay? Hey you guys, I wanted to come back on cam. Um, now it's been two days after I reused the Texture ID products. I thought I had them here, I'm sorry. The two styling products I used by Texture ID. I wanted to just try them again, um, but this time I used Shea Butter, a DIY Shea Butter Mango Buttercream and As I Am as a leave-in. And what I'm going to do is just take down a few sections. My hair is still, um, it feels, I don't know, it, it feels different. There's something about it that feels different. It is drying and frizzy. This go around though, I did twists and I did bantu knots. Still looks a lot better than the first style, but yeah. And un definition on point. Really good, right? So that's it. Everything's taken down and yeah, see, this is what it looks like underneath. See how it's kind of, that's frizzy. So this is what it's looking like. Again, a lot better. And I feel like even though it's drying, um, just due to the, the definition alone, this could last me a couple of more days. Um, I'm going to turn around to the back so you guys can see what the back looks like. 
oh, I just don't like the way it feels like. This is what it feels like. And I don't know if I got a bad batch of products or what. It feels like I set my hair with mousse and gel. She got, she got some bounce to her. It's fluffy. So you guys, I think it's important to um, give you a few takeaways while I show you some hair porn girl um, benefits. I do like that I can purchase this locally. The price is reasonable and the definition is on point. The only con I can only just say is how my hair feels afterwards. I'm not, not liking that, but it's okay, you guys. I will make it work, okay? Style will last me for a couple more days, and I have a feeling if I would have done this on, if I would have done this style instead of a braid out initially, it would have definitely lasted me a little bit longer. Um, but that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.